What's, What's up, up everybody? everybody? I'm Daryl. And I'm Marie. And this is DM's, DM's Mix Up. Welcome back to DM's Mix Up. Today we're out walking a trail. We found a new trail. We're going to check it out and see what's on it. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We found this really old tree. It's got concrete all around it and it's up on a hill. It seems kind of weird. Interesting. Of course, there's a bunch of briars right in front of it. That's why I'm not walking over there. <laughs> so we came out of the woods over there. And actually, it looks like somebody has planted a bunch of trees along this path. And then, of course, that, that looks like the, the rock that they use for the path itself. There's a fence over there. There's also a house back over that way. We're trying to figure out how you get to it. But that looks like their, maybe their backyard fence. Maybe they're the caretakers. I don't know, but there's no driveway up to this point. These looks like they might have been pavilions. Might have been. Because it's a concrete slab with... Yeah, the metal pole space. It could have been. Huh. There's a couple of them. Yeah, there's a couple of slabs. So I don't. Maybe it was a house or a barn or something at one point. Oh. Yeah, it definitely looks like it's marsh over that way. Yeah. I want to walk over here. This is interesting to me that there's uh, the concrete slabs. may have been a farm at one time. Yeah, this looks like the end of the uh, access road. Or what looked like an access road. I wonder if anybody lives in there. It looks like it. It, it looks lived in, but... Yeah, hopefully the sun's not... Messing up the camera. There's water from the inlet. I don't know if you can see it. Ooh, looks like we got some water over this way. This is definitely was a building at some point. Sorry if the camera's shaky. I'm walking along. This water here is actually brackish water. It's where the, uh, when the tide comes in, the water comes up. When the rain comes in, the water goes out. Some more fence. Bridge. Yeah, let's go check out the footbridge. There is a path that goes through the tents. Oh, we're gonna go that way. <laughs> <sighs> so we started today's adventure trying to find a new place to fish. And it looks like we may have found something. Mm -hmm. A lot of this area is marshy though, so we have to be careful going down next to the water. Oh yeah. Uh, Just because it looks solid does not mean it's solid. Even when Alright, so we found this edge here, but it's like really steep. And the water down there is kind of stagnant, it looks like. So this is probably not connected directly to the inlet. 
um, maybe overflow or something. There's probably some more branches off that branch off that branch off from the deal. It's not getting enough water for the moment. Get yeah, maybe at high tide it, it flows in, but only so much flows out. Yeah, there is some movement over there. We have a lot of issue with, I guess, I guess it's not an issue. It's part of the ecosystem. This is marsh. So there's a lot of mud and stuff that you can get stuck in if you're not careful. But the problem isn't the marsh. It's the junk thrown into it. Yeah. People just don't take care of things. Uh, but then you have that smell that comes with <laughs> decaying leaves and things like that and so sometimes it smells really bad good thing for her if she's got a stuffy nose so she can't smell it i can smell it though <sighs> okay so the path ended right there but we still got i mean the the stoned path i should say but we still got a dirt path. So we'll keep going. I actually walked back on one of these the before. Area. A little mud hole area there. It's peeking out through the water. Interesting. Hopefully the camera's or the sun's not like blinding the camera. <laughs> yeah. As this continues to get deeper from the um, water coming in from my tide, that'll disappear. See all the bubbles? It actually looks like the tide's going out because of the... I'm not sure. But when the tide does come in, all of that is covered. See all the bubbles right there? Yeah, that's the that's, gas. <laughs> that's, the, that's the gas, but it's also the marine life going back into the mud. The frogs and things, they'll go back down in the mud, and wait for the water to come back in to come back up again. Even yeah. some fish will do it. Little bitty ones. Yeah. But some bigger ones will too. If there wasn't so much mud right there, we could actually fish from that spot. Mm-hmm. Huh. All right, so we reached the end. Unless we bring a We actually hacker. came down here, and it's muddy, marshy right down there, but there's a... Good current going where the, by right here. ...where the water goes in and out. Mm-hmm. And the, uh, the place we were just at is right there, literally. Mm-hmm. I didn't realize when I turned the camera off that we were right here but you can see a little bit of the water flow mm -hmm. hopefully the camera's not killing your eyeballs like it is mine all right so let's go back up and see if we can follow that other path thanks for watching our video if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more content